Today we're going to look at indoor portraits using existing window light. The model who's going to be assisting me today is Mary, and we're working in a hotel room to approximate the conditions one might have in one's home, where you can't move a lot of furniture and you have to work around things hanging on the wall and things in the background that might distract from the photo. The natural light is coming from a single window, and earlier in the day there was a rain shower that came through, so we're pretty much working with diffused light. And since there's a cloud cover outside, the light's not as bright as it might typically be on a day like today. So I'm starting off with a 35 millimeter lens on an ASPC camera, so that works out to about a 50 millimeter focal length if you have a full frame camera or you work in 35 millimeter film. And that lens coupled with where I positioning myself relative to the light and using a very wide aperture to get a shallow depth of field makes the scene a lot more interesting than what you see in the video. So in this first photo, Mary is facing the light. It's not complete flat light. It's coming across her face at an angle. So that's where you're getting a little bit of shadow off of her nose and a little bit of shadow on the right side of her cheek. But it's nice light. We don't have a whole lot of dark areas to work with with a photo. There's enough shadow to make it interesting. There's enough contrast in the light and, and the light modeling to make the photo interesting. So overall, this is a pretty good photo. The shallow depth of field is making the couch in the background go out of focus. And I've framed it in such a way that you're not getting anything distracting in the rest of the room, the, the wall hanging that's above the couch you don't see. In the next photo I've switched lenses. I have now a 23 millimeter lens on the camera, which works out to about a 35 millimeter focal length on a full frame camera or 35 millimeter film. I'm about in the same position I was for the prior image, but I'm getting more of the scene. Now, this may or may not work. It probably depends on your personal preferences. I think that the prior image worked a little bit better because it's a tighter composition. You have less of the of the room that's distracting you. Although this image works fairly decently, I prefer the other one. But you might want to try different focal lengths. For the next image, I have now moved to a different position. So now when Mary's facing me, the light is coming straight across her face. So half of it is in shadow and half of it is illuminated. This is something you want to watch out for when you're working with existing light coming through a window. You can get really dark shadows on the dark side of the face. So to combat that, I've put up a reflector, and the reflector doesn't have to be anything fancy. It can be just a white piece of poster board or a white piece of foam core, something that's inexpensive you can get at a craft store. But I have a foldable reflector, so that's what I'm using today. And the white is its kind of a, a flat white, so it's not got a whole lot of harsh um, light coming off of it. So it's filled in her f the dark side of her face. The, the right side of her face is still darker than the other side, but we don't have the harsh shadows we did for the previous one. And then lastly, I turned the reflector over because it has a different color on the other side. It has a half gold and half silver pattern. And this is a, a really shiny surface, so you're going to get a lot of sort of harsh light coming off of it. I don't think it works terribly well in this environment because you're not expecting to see sort of harsh, warm light coming from inside a room, but it's going to fill in the dark side of the face even more and at times even bring its own shadows into the photo. So you've got a few options as far as fill light goes. You can go with a flat white or you can go with a silver or a gold or a combination of silver and gold that's going to have a, a brighter effect. If this was all gold, there would be a lot more warmth in her face than what you're seeing here. Because it's half gold, half silver, it kind of cuts that, that effect in half. So it's something you have to think about. Is that the type of colored light you want to bring into the scene? Does it work for the scene? Outdoors, it might be more appropriate, more interesting. Indoors, I don't think it quite works so well. And lastly, we're going to do 
flat light, light that's coming straight from the window onto Mary's face. She's now positioned herself to a different part of the room. She's sitting on the bed and pretty much facing the window straight on. And for this photo, I've got a much longer lens on. I started with the 35 millimeter, but I was getting too much of the bed in it and the bed frame in the background, which is not what I wanted. So I wanted to get a, a tighter composition without getting really close to her face. So I put on a 90 millimeter lens, which works out to about 135 millimeter focal length on a full frame camera. And now the light is a lot flatter. So we don't have a whole lot of modeling of the light because it's coming straight on her face. We get a little bit of shadow underneath her chin. There's a little bit of shadow from her nose. But that's pretty much it. This light can sometimes be very difficult to work with. Flat light can be kind of unflattering or not terribly interesting. And here I think it sort of works, but I don't think it's as interesting a light as what we had in the other photos where the light's coming across her face to provide some interest. But it's something you can certainly try and see if it works for you. The one thing to keep in mind if you're going to use direct light like this is as the photographer, try not to stand between the light source, which is the window, and the person you're photographing because you're just going to cast a shadow. You're going to darken the image unnecessarily. So in this case, I'm a little bit to the right of Mary so that I'm not blocking the light coming from the window.